the sleepy southern town of Nashville, Tennessee, home to the Tennessee Titans, Opryland, and the preeminent writers' conference, Killer Nashville. Underneath the glitz and glamour, there boils a controversy. For years, Killer Nashville has been hosted at the Hutton Hotel, but in 2014, the long-standing partnership between the two ended suddenly. Two months before the conference was to take place, the Hutton Hotel informed Killer Nashville they'd like to book a Saturday wedding in the middle of the three-day conference. But the hotel had a solution. The conference attendees could be bused to another hotel for Saturday, then bused back the next morning. And since the approach worked so well in the 60s, the conference organizers considered it. For the three seconds it took the idiotic idea to be repeated back in the form of a question. An impasse had been reached. Neither side gave in. The Hutton claimed the contract signed more than a year before was no longer valid because they signed in invisible ink. The Killer Nashville organizers stated they could still see the contract signature. But the Hutton Hotel stood its ground, sticking out its proverbial tongue. Killer Nashville had no choice but to scramble for a new location. A few days later, the Hutton Hotel lobbed another grenade, emailing the conference attendees and informing them that the conference and their reservations had been canceled at the behest of the Killer Nashville staff. What really happened? Who is to blame? Scores of angry writers have left scathing reviews all over the internet, lambasting the Hutton Hotel and its management team. Someone even made this video. There remains many questions. Who's getting married that day? Why are the Hutton's toilets square? How much alcohol does the Hutton management team drink on any given day? We may never know. 